Hey everyone, Miss Reimer here with Music Teacher Message. So today we are going to talk about a couple of um, like tips I've picked up over the years to help with reads. So this video is going to be mainly for people who play the clarinet or the saxophone or who are just interested in that kind of stuff. So um, we're going to just kind of jump right into that. There are two main tips I want to share. If you order reads that come in a foil packet, so like I prefer Van Doren reads, and um, this one is kind of a, it's a thin one. They're only, they're only threes. Um, but I've got some saxophone reeds here. And when you get a new box of reeds, depending on what brand you get, um, they might come in these little foil packets. And they're like individually wrapped, okay? And um, if that's the case, you're gonna wanna open these as soon as you get your new box of reeds. Why? Well, the reed is right now in like a little vacuum packed pouch um, and the humidity that's in here is the same as the humidity wherever it was packaged, okay? Um, the chances of you living in the exact same uh, type of climate or the same humidity as what's in here is pretty slim. So I had a professor who talked to me a lot about this and she said that as soon as she would get a new box of reeds, she would open them all up and then put them in like a drawer or on a shelf and she would put a date on the box saying like what um, the date was that she opened them and then she wouldn't even play them until they had gotten used to the humidity where we live and she would actually wait like 10 years or something before she would play the reed. Now I'm not suggesting that. Um, she is a professional clarinet player. That's what she does for a living. So, you know, her standards are going to be a little bit different from us. But I do agree with the uh, opening up the foil packets. So when you get a new box of reeds, you want to open them up. And then right there, that reed is starting to get used to the climate where I live. Okay. Um, now, once you have all of your reeds open, there's another trick I've picked up over the years. And I'm going to show that to you right now. So this next uh, little tip is something I picked up from my very first clarinet teacher. And she would have me do this all the time starting in, uh, I was in sixth grade when I started doing this. And it made a huge difference. And I'm always surprised at like how many people have never heard of this um, because I think it just made a huge difference. Um, so I'm going to show you how to soak your reeds. Now the purpose of soaking your reeds, um, I have found that there's like two main purposes, okay? Number one, when you get a brand new reed, it kind of has that like, like new reed taste. I don't know, it's hard to describe unless you're a reed player, um, but I don't love that taste. And by soaking your reeds, it does get rid of that taste. Um, so that's just kind of like a personal preference thing. The main reason though that you want to soak your reeds is it helps you to break in your reed a lot faster and a lot easier. So if you're not a reed player, um, reeds have to be broken in just like you would with like new shoes. You wouldn't go run 10 miles in a pair of shoes that you've never worn before. Um, you know, you could end up with like blisters and stuff. That's not a good plan, right? Well, the same thing goes for reeds playing on, in this case, in this video, I'm talking a lot about saxophone and clarinets. Um, the same does apply to bassoons and oboes, but their reeds are a little bit different. So we're not talking about them in this video. Um, but just for, you know, my own experience, um, mainly on clarinet, when you have a reed that has not been broken in yet, it's just, it's really hard to play. And sometimes it would kind of like hurt my head a little bit because it's like you're blowing and blowing and blowing and there's so much resistance because it's a brand new reed and it just doesn't work right. And it's really frustrating. So I found that by doing this like soaking method, it gets rid of a lot of that frustration. Um, and then the breaking in process, instead of it taking this much time, it now takes this much time. So you're frustrated a lot less and um, it's just not as big of a deal when you have to get a new read out. So if you've never soaked your reads before, um, I'm gonna walk you through how I like to do it. And again, this is something that I was taught when I was in sixth grade. So you want to open up all of your reeds um, so that they're just like this, right? Um, and then you are going to get a bowl of water and uh, the water needs to be room temperature. 
So you're going to put all of your reeds into this bowl of water and then I dunk them down under the water. Now they are going to float, but it's good to get them like totally submerged a little bit so that, you know, the water does cover all of it and they will float on the top, but that's okay. So you're going to set a timer for 15 minutes. At the end, you are going to take them out and put them on a paper towel and then have them dry overnight. Now, if you have a pet or a sibling that might mess with them, um, you might need to do this a little bit differently, but I just leave them on the paper towel overnight because nobody's gonna mess with my stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't like to put them back into the like plastic cases. I'm all done with this process. So for the first day, you soak them for 15 minutes. The second day, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put them in the water, dunk them down, and then at the end of 10 minutes, you're going to take them out, put them on the paper towel to dry overnight. On the third day, you're going to soak them for five minutes. Okay, so we did 15, 10, five. At the end of the five minutes, you're going to take them out, put them on the paper towel, let them dry overnight, and then on that fourth day, that's when you actually put them back into the plastic cases. And then once I've done that, I will actually write on the box of reeds and I will say like already soaked or something like that so that I know that this box is good to go. They're already out of the foil packets, of course, but I know that they have been soaked and they're ready for me that as soon as I need more reeds, I can go to this box over any other box because I know that they're already soaked, which means that like breaking in process has already begun. So those are my two main tips for uh, read players. Um, I'm going to do another video in a couple of weeks that's kind of more advanced things that you should be doing with reads if you are at that stage. Um, but hopefully that was good information for you today. Um, if you learned something, thumbs up, comments, ask me questions, all that good stuff, um, and send this video to a saxophone or a clarinet player. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!